Kia ora all, welcome to Mr Quiz, the channel where we play quizzes. Uh, welcome back to my first video after we have hit 1000 subscriptions, so thank you very much. I really appreciate it to all 1000 plus of you. And anyone else who enjoys these videos but hasn't yet subscribed, it's fine, keep on enjoying them. If you do want to subscribe, of course, fantastic. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you very much, I really appreciate it. It was beyond anything I expected when I started this channel about 9 months ago. Uh, it was intended just to be a bit of a fun activity during lockdown but it turned into something more and here we are so thank you and to celebrate i thought i would search uh search circle search sporkle uh for quizzes that had the um something to do with a thousand of them and i came across this quiz which is a history quiz which i know some of you like and you know that i like uh so we're gonna get straight into it it's can we name the 100 most influential people of the last 1000 years uh we have 14 minutes and we do have the life dates and uh what they're known for which is fantastic uh we have this was presented by the a &E network which i guess is some kind of tv station possibly in the us uh on the 10th of october 1999 uh, and was compiled by a staff of 360 journalists scientists theologians historians and scholars uh, so I'll be interested to see how they define influential, if it means good or just notable. Um, I guess we can try one name in particular and see if that pops up and we'll get an idea which direction this is going to go. So 100 answers, 14 minutes, let's aim for 80. That seems like a good idea. 80%, that's an A minus in most places. Cool. Uh, so let's try that name and it is there. Okay, so we know what we're looking for then. Uh, let's try and go through them one by one. Uh, well actually, let's just toss names out. Leonardo da Vinci, he's bound to be there, right? Einstein, surely. Um, let's see, uh, Martin Luther. Uh, Pascal, uh, Voltaire. Oh, Shake oh, Voltaire is there. Uh, Shakespeare, this would be so much easier if we had nationalities as well. Exploration, uh, Marco Polo, fits those dates I think. No, he was much earlier. Sorry. Uh, Magellan, perhaps. What about Captain Cook? No. Uh, da Gama. He's right there at number 99. Uh, who else? Columbus, right? Has to be him. Okay. Uh, Karl Marx. Uh, probably not Engels of Marx is there, but what about Nietzsche? We forgot him in the quiz we did of famous Germans. Uh, so I'm sure he does pop up here if I can spell it. Nietzsche. Nope, uh, Hegel, Kant, uh, who else is uh, worth thinking about, Rousseau, uh, and then maybe Mill, John Stuart Mill, Bentham, I'm thinking of political theorists now, Machiavelli, uh, some of these might not be spelled right, but I'll give them to myself, well, here we go, Machiavelli, perfect, uh, who else, Hobbes, Locke, excellent, Okay, let's do some artists. I think the going through um, bit by bit is going to be the easiest way to do it. Uh, just James Watt, Adam Smith, just things popping into my head. So let's do, we have Da Vinci, we're going to have Michelangelo, that might not be spelled correctly. Let's do the Ninja Turtle strategy, that always works pretty well. Although I don't think Donatello will be here, and Raphael was a close one, but no. Botticelli. See, the trouble is, I know these names, but I'm not sure I know the spellings necessarily. Uh, Titian, El Greco, no, these are unlikely. What about Rembrandt? He's a possibility. No, uh, Van Eyck, he was pretty influential in art. Okay, what about like. Um, Newer artists. Van Gogh is probably going to be here, right? Hold on. No. Huh. Renoir. Um, Monet. No, okay. Wow, there's not many artists here then. What about composers? Beethoven. He surely should be there. Mozart. Bach. Uh, Wagner. Strauss. Brahms, Liszt, Verdi, Puccini, uh, Tchaikovsky, let's give it a shot, uh, Tchaikovsky, hmm, no, okay, invention industry, 1400 to 1468, 
Oh, I said Martin Luther, but I didn't say Gutenberg, because the printing press, right? Uh, was it just Gutenberg with one T? Clearly not two Bs. Okay. Uh, science. Newton, right? He's widely considered pretty influential. What about other scientists? Uh, Marie Curie. Uh, Mendeleev. The guy who came up with the... Oh, Gregor Mendel. I was coming to him, I promise. Mendeleev came up with the periodic table. Uh... Who else? Pascal, uh, I was going to say uh, Socrates and Pythagoras, but I don't think they lived in the last 1,000 years. Okay, uh, Edison. And what about Tesla? No. Okay, let's do some politicians. So Napoleon for sure will be here. He's super influential. Uh, Churchill probably. Uh, Stalin, I suppose. Trotsky, no, but Lenin should be here, right? Cool. Mao as well. Uh, science, 1809 to 1882. What about like Charles Babbage? Yes, perfect. Ada Lovelace? These were like computer scientists from the early 19th century, which is amazing to think about, but it's, um, <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, Oppenheimer, he was credited with kind of weaponizing, um, the nuclear bomb. Uh, Martin Luther King, just throwing out names, Rosa Parks. Malcolm X, 20th century duo in science, is that going to be Watson and Crick? Cool, uh, what about Alexander Fleming, um, he did penicillin and Harvey, who is the father of cardiology, uh, Buddha, he was far too early, right? Uh, Muhammad though, is, when was he? He was 600. Uh, so we had Genghis Khan, what about Kublai Khan? No, okay. Eight minutes and we're almost well, at 40, which is good. Uh, let's see here. Lots of artists. Lots of artists. Politics, thought, 1706 to 17. I don't know, like Sartre or Camus or Chomsky or Bertrand Russell. John Rawls. Okay, uh, there's a Luxembourg, I don't like Zola, Emile Zola, uh, Victor Hugo, Alexandre Dumas, oh, Diana, Princess of Wales, really? I mean, I thought the list was pretty good up to that point, and, you know, no disrespect to Diana, Princess of Wales, but, yeah, uh, seems a slightly odd inclusion, in which case is Mother Teresa going to be here? seem to be quite simpatico. No, uh, Gandhi. Mandela. The trouble with these lists sometimes is that they're very recency biased. You can just see it in like how few people there are before 1500. Try Joan of Arc. Okay, great. Let's try some British. Let's try some kings and Oh, hold on. Washington. Jefferson. Adams is unlikely. Madison. Lincoln. Roosevelt. Wow, this is incredibly high for all these American presidents. Uh, FDR and Eleanor Roosevelt. Um, more like Kennedy. Okay. It's good that he's not here because he wasn't really that influential in the grand scheme of things. Okay. Uh, where else are we going? Oh, I know. Uh, Copernicus and Galileo. Perfect. Um, Hubble. Science is definitely my weak point. Thought, 1856 to 1939. Could be Sigmund Freud, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we're missing a scientist. I was going to say scientician, that would be funny. A scientician who uh, lived from 1809 to 1882. What happened in that period? Okay, well, let's do monarchs. I think that'll be the easiest thing to do. Uh, Elizabeth the first, okay, uh, Napoleon we had, Louis the 14th might be here, of France, the Sun King, no, that is strange, um, I mean I'll throw out Marie Antoinette, but she really has no business on this list, Bismarck, what, are you telling me Otto von Bismarck is less influential than Diana Princess of Wales, he founded Germany, I 
Ivan the Terrible. Uh, Catherine the Great. He's... Okay. Uh, Peter the Great. Automobile Bismarck is pretty much directly res well, not directly responsible, but a direct lineage can be made from him to two world wars. And, yeah, okay, well, let's leave that. Uh, can't think of any popes who would make this list, unless John Paul II, for some reason, snuck in. Um, 19th, 20th century duo invention and industry. Wright brothers should be higher. Um, the thing is, like, even if these guys weren't the main drivers, they're the ones who discovered it and popularized flight and the first ones who are credited to doing it and flight has been one of the most influential uh developments in the last 1000 years so they would be top 20 for me uh religion 1225 to 1274 what about Ataturk? uh richard the first no um What's his name? Uh, the th Arab leader, or not Arab, uh, during the Crusades, Saladin, no, okay, um, Mansa Musa, Ibn Battua, well, that might be spelt wrong, uh, what about like Amundsen? Okay, let's look at some dates here because we're running out of time. This time has gone so quickly. Uh, religion, invention, industry. Uh, Ford? Yeah, motor cars, I suppose. I'm not sure you... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, 1596 to 1650, thought. I've just been doing a lot of philo philosophical stuff as well. But I just can't pull the names out of my head. Uh, I thought, arts. Who would that be, like Chaucer? No. Uh, oh, maybe um, Dante. Perfect. And what about? It? No. Uh, Charlemagne was earlier, right? Yeah, Charles Martel was also earlier, I think. Um, Bill Gates. Mm, okay, Steve Jobs. Uh, what was I thinking? What direction was I going on there? Uh, Dante. Uh, Milton, Paradise Lost. What about who wrote Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire? That was Gibbon. No. Okay, let's do some authors. Uh, who's popular? Aust uh, Austin, Dickens. Uh, we said most of the French authors. Goethe. Hmm. Like Tolstoy. No. Dostoevsky. Nope. Okay. Uh, I am running out of stuff. Politics. 1911 to 2004. I should have given myself a stopwatch mode. This would have been more fun. Um, politics. Thought. 1706 to 1970. There shouldn't be any other British monarchs, right? Unless Elizabeth II is there. Oh, maybe Victoria. No. Uh, what about... Oliver Cromwell. No. Tom Paine. Uh, Benjamin Franklin will surely be here. Everyone loves Benjamin Franklin. Uh, science. So I know there's going to be obvious ones I've missed out, but I just can't get there. This time limit wasn't enough, sorry. Uh, Metternich. Uh, I can't think of any Byzantium rulers, any popes that would be on here. Uh, Sun Tzu, no, he was earlier, right? Confucius, that he might have been earlier as well. I'm not so good with my like Asian history. What about um Tokugawa? I'm not even sure if he was a person. I was thinking of the Tokunaga, uh, Tokugawa soldier, sol sultanate in Japan. Bolivar, he pretty much freed all of uh, Latin America. Um, Robespierre. He was fairly influential during the French Revolution. No, so if he's not here, none of the other French revolutionaries will be on here. Uh, what about... Can't think of anyone... Are there going to be any more American presidents here? Shortly not. Can I get a couple more? 
Hold on, I've just seen 20th Century Foursome, so I guess that's going to be the Beatles. Hello, Elvis then. If the Beatles are on here, Elvis should be on here. Chuck Berry. That was hopeful. Um, politics, 1911 to 2004. I should be getting this. See, I think if you gave me like an hour and a half, I could probably get to 90 of these. It would just, I would have to go through systematically. Like religion, 1225 to 1274. I don't know who this is. Um, but it's going to be blindingly obvious when I see it. And this one here, science, 1809. Oh, Darwin, right? Darwin. Boom. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing if it was wrong. Okay, Louis Pasteur, fair enough. Uh, St. Thomas Aquinas, yeah. Uh, Descartes, perfectly fine. Uh, Sir Francis Bacon, yeah, I'm not really super familiar. Graham Bell, William the Conqueror, yeah, I actually should have got it based on the years here. Mary Wollstonecraft, Gorbachev, Margaret Sanger. I'm going to be honest, I don't know who that is. I should look her up. Uh, Edward Jenner who did something famous, which I can't place off the top of my head. Uh, Elizabeth Stanton, she was an early feminist, which is, works here. Michael Faraday, perfect. Uh, Walt Disney, yeah, that makes sense. Picasso, Heisenberg, D.W. Griffith, who was an early, um, uh, early filmmaker. Probably one of the first great silent filmmakers, but pretty controversial. Made some racist films, but then made some films which are criticizing racism. Uh, Vladimir Zvorkin, not sure, sorry. Uh, although judging by the dates, probably something to do with the Soviet Union maybe. Uh, Pope Gregory VII, couldn't tell you what he did. Harriet Tubman, fine. Enrico Fermi, yep, okay. Um, Gregory Pincus, no, wouldn't have got that. Queen Isabella, okay, I guess because she, she sponsored Columbus's trip to uh, India. Niels Bohr, fine. Marconi, Reagan? Okay, that's a stretch. Uh, James Joyce, yep. Rachel Carson, Susan B. Anthony, Louis de Guerre, Spielberg, Florence Nightingale, yeah, she pretty much revolutionized nursing. Patient Zero. Hmm. Don't know who that Patient Zero is. Charlie Chaplin, Caruso, Jonas Salk, who did smallpox vaccine i think uh louis armstrong and sulamine the magnificent okay i probably could have got sulamine the magnificent he um was pretty magnificent ottoman one of the early ottoman rulers conquered most of the balkans cool okay so that's not too bad then um i feel like i said if i had another 10 minutes i probably could have stretched myself to another 20 or so but overall 63 out of 100 is not too bad and i have to say the list is not terrible apart from a few obvious uh bad calls and a few few which are missing then i'm pretty happy with that uh well, i'm pretty happy with the list let's have a look at the stats and see what we got so the most obvious one we missed was picasso I'm not sure how i didn't click to him ronald reagan but we did get charles babbage and william harvey am i right that babbage was a computer scientist i might be wrong i get him and michael faraday confused bolivar jane austen peter the great dante and alexander fleming Okay, thank you very much for watching this far, guys. I super appreciate it. Um, now that we're at 1,000 subscribers, I am uh, able to monetize my channel, which is fantastic. Um, I'm not going to do the title cards across the video because they're obnoxious and everyone hates them. Um, but you may be seeing some video ads on the channel. So uh, hopefully they're not too annoying. Um, if they are, please tell me. Um, but bear in mind, I do put and putting a bit of effort into this and making content for you guys to enjoy so it helps pays for a few things and for a bit of my time which is uh makes it worth it as well as all the nice comments from you guys anyway uh thank you again i'll see you in a couple of days time as always quiz suggestions in the links uh, below i do have a long list backing up and i will try and get to as many as i can um as we go along anyway have a good day kakite bye